Pinky is one of the popular space repetition softwares out there that helps me memorize information through the use of flashcards. Hey everyone, my name is Siddharth and I'm a medical intern here in India. Currently, I've given my USMLE Step 1 exam and I've passed it. In this video, let's go through why Anki is an important tool for anyone who is studying for an important exam. Let's dive into the Anki world which is the ultimate tool for effective and efficient learning. So grab your note taking devices and let's get into it. Before we start our Anki tutorial, let's have a quick overview of what Anki really is. Anki is a powerful space repetition tool that allows you to create and study virtual flashcards making it an indispensable tool for language learning, medical studies, exam preparation and so much more. With Anki you can say goodbye to traditional flashcards and welcome a smart, efficient and personalized way of learning. Anki allows us to customize our study sessions by allowing us to create the number of cards and uh, revision decks that we need to finish in a particular day. The software uses algorithms to determine which cards need to be reviewed more often and uh, based on that the cards are shown more frequently. It is available for free on Mac OS, Windows and Android but it's a paid app on uh, iOS. Nevertheless you can use the Anki web for free on iOS. One of the benefits of Anki is its effectiveness in retaining information. By spacing out the reviews of flashcards over time we are able to more efficiently commit the information to the long term memory. Additionally, Anki tracks our performance and progress and provides st uh, statistics for performance. This can allow us to identify which areas we are weak on and work on them more. Overall, Anki is a powerful tool for anyone who is trying to learn information effectively and efficiently for the long term. Anki is also known for its versatility and flexibility. It allows us to use uh, images, audios and videos in the flashcards, making it easier to memorize complex information. Additionally, we can use Anki to learn wide range of subjects from language learning to medical terminology. Anki's user interface may seem intimidating at first, but there are many resources available online to help users get started. The Anki community is also very active and supportive with many users sharing their decks for and tips for effective studying. In summary, Anki is a powerful and customizable tool for anyone who is looking to improve their memory and learn new information for the long term. With its space repetition system and user friendly features, Anki can help us achieve our learning goals. Anki is particularly useful for medical students who need to memorize uh, large amounts of information that, which is complex. With Anki, medical students can create uh, flashcards with that include images, diagrams, even audio recordings to help remember uh, specific medical terms, diseases, heart sounds and treatments. Anki's space repetition system is especially important for medical students who need to uh, remember large amounts of information for a huge amount of time. Anki's active and supportive community of medical students and professionals means that there are many pre-made decks available for the use of medical students. You can easily download these decks and they cover a wide range of topics. Overall, Anki is an invaluable tool for a medical student. They can use uh, Anki to create custom flashcards with uh, medical terminologies, anatomical structures and disease symptoms. By spacing out reviews of the flashcards, over time, Anki helps us commit uh, information to the long-term memory more effectively. Using all the pre-made decks that are available for medical students which cover a wide variety of topics can help save significant amount of time and energy. This means that you don't need to create your own uh, flashcards for everything. You can just use the flashcards that have been made by someone else. Anki's community also provides support and advice for uh, students who are struggling with certain topics or concepts. In short, Anki is one of the must-do resources for medical students looking to succeed in their uh, medical school exams and the USMLE Step 1 exam. This can help students uh, memorize large amounts of complex information over time very effectively. The customization features make it a versatile tool for learning wide range of uh, medical subjects. 
anyone who uses Anki regularly can see their improvements in their performance and the retention of knowledge over time. Alright, now that we understand the magic behind Anki, let's jump into getting started. The first step is to download the Anki software from the website. To download Anki, go to the Anki's official website and select the download link for your operating system. Anki is available for free on multiple platforms including desktop and mobile devices. Once you have downloaded and installed the software, you can create your own decks uh, of flashcard or download pre-made decks and from a shared library. Here's a little guide on how you can do it. Go to the Anki's official website. Click on the download button at the top of the page. Choose the version of Anki that is compatible with your operating system, Windows, Mac or Linux. Once the download is complete, open the installer and follow the installation instructions. After installation, you can use Anki and start creating your own flashcards and decks or download pre-made decks from the shared library. Once you have downloaded Anki and installed it, it's time to use this incredible tool. When you open Anki for the first time, you will see a clean interface that allows you to unleash your inner potential and start making decks or use the pre-made decks. To create cards on Anki, follow the following steps. Open Anki and click on add to create a new card. Enter the question and answer for the card in the appropriate fields. If desired, you can add images, audio or video to the card by clicking the appropriate buttons. Once you have created your card, click add to save it to your deck. To create a new deck, click on create deck in the main menu. Enter a name for your deck and click create. To add flashcards to your deck, click on add and follow the steps uh, that were done before. To study your deck, click on study in the main menu and select the deck you want to study. If you want to use a pre-made deck, uh, I have already made a video on how to use a pre-made deck on Anki for the USMLE Step 1 exam and you can find it somewhere in the cards above. Creating cards on Anki is a simple and intuitive process. You can customize your cards and decks to your specific learning needs to maximize the effectiveness of the space repetition system and improve your retention of information. Anki's flexibility and versatility makes it a powerful tool to learn a wide range of subjects including medical terminologies and languages. Now let me introduce you to the special ingredient that makes Anki so useful, space repetition. Space repetition is all about optimizing your learning schedule ensuring that you review the material at just the right time. Anki uses a smart algorithm that tracks your learning progress and automatically schedules uh, new cards based on the cards that you have used before. This way you spend more time on the material that requires more attention from you and maximizing your attention. Anki is all about customization allowing you to mold it according to your unique needs of learning. If you want a specific font or a specific theme for your cards, you can do that and select the customization tools available and uh, figure out what you will want. This makes the whole learning experience personalized, uh, enjoyable and engaging. But that's not all, Anki offers a versatile range of add-ons for your uh, interface. For example, the tracker for streaks. This means that uh, it tells you how many cards did you do every day and for how many days were you able to do Anki every day. These add-ons can enhance your Anki experience by adding new features, improving efficiency or integrating with external resources. The possibilities here are truly endless. Now that you know the basics, let me share some insider tips and tricks for making your Anki journey more rewarding. Tip number one is to make your cards concise and focused. Keep it simple with one concept per card. This will help you retain information more effectively. Tip number two is using uh, images, videos and audios for your learning experience. By adding videos and audios into your uh, Anki flashcards, it makes it different from your lecture notes because you could have never done that. Tip number three is to prioritize your reviews. Take advantage of Anki's smart uh, algorithm and complete your review sessions uh, regularly for optimal learning experience. I hope this video helped you a little and now you can create your own Anki interface.
and uh, see you guys in the next one.